In this video, I'm visiting Joshua Tree National Park. With my Jeep and my X-Venture trailer, I'll drive the off-road trail through Burdu Canyon. I'll drive through the park and access Burdu Canyon from the Geology Tour Road. Burdu Canyon is a remote and rugged off-road trail. Four-wheel drive is recommended and all the things you need to survive in the desert. For this trip, I'll be doing a solo overlanding journey. Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Joshua Tree National Park. I was here a couple months ago and I wanted to do Burdu Canyon, which is a four-wheel drive trail that leads out of the park to the south if you're taking it from the Joshua Tree side. And I didn't get a chance to do it because I had a little mechanical issue with my Jeep. So I'm going to try to do it again, but today I'm by myself. It's going to be a solo trip through Burdu Canyon. This video is not sponsored, but I will have links in the description to some of the products you might see in the video. If you use those links to purchase something, it doesn't raise the cost of the product, but it does help out me and helps out the channel. I get a little bit of a kickback. Let's get on with the video. Let's start by airing down the tires. Got my handy little air down tool here. This one's nice and simple and it works great for me. I'm gonna air down all the tires. I'm not just gonna air down the Jeep's tires and I'm gonna go down to about 18 pounds. It takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. Whether you're driving across washboard roads or whether you're going across rocks, Taking the air down is going to make the tires less prone to puncture. It's going to give them a bigger footprint. It's going to give you better traction. Taking air out of the tires in the trailer is also going to soften the ride on the trailer. And that's going to be good for all your gear. So I've got 18 pounds on this tire. Now I'm going to go around to the rest of the tires. This is the Geology Tour Road. And if you want to access Purdue Canyon from inside the park, this is the road you take. I'd much rather have a friend with me, and especially another vehicle, but that's the way it goes. I'm by myself, and I'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Pleasant Valley, one of the many historical spots in Joshua Tree. So we're getting very close to the turnoff to Burdu Canyon now. I followed the geology tour road all the way down here and now I'm here at the turnoff to Burdu Canyon and Dillon Road is the road that you get to on the south side of Joshua Tree. I've never been down this road. The geology tour road I've done a few times. We're gonna see what's in store for us here today. If you go right here at the sign, that'll take you around the geology tour loop. So proceed at your own risk. I give you a big warning about if you got get get towed out, it's going to be expensive. I've got my all-wheel drive vehicle. I got a winch. I got my shovel, traction boards. Those other boxes are firewood. I got some more traction boards up here. I got some good mud terrain tires. Probably about eight gallons of water. There's five there. Pretty close to a full tank of fuel. I got five gallons of extra diesel on this side. I got my bug out pack in case I gotta hike my way out. Well, it seems like I got everything I need. Got a little bit of expertise in going off road, being outdoors. Let's give it a shot. Burdu Canyon. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up button, think about subscribing, and leave a comment. It's always great to hear from you guys and hear what you're thinking. I had heard there was a fire in Joshua Tree, but I didn't know where exactly it took place. Well, this is obviously one of the places they had a fire. See some of these Joshua Trees were pretty badly burnt. Probably the last place, well the last place I'd expect to have a big fire happen, but it's pretty dry here. The conditions are right for something to burn. Just not what you really think about happening in the desert. So far on the trail, just a sandy road. Pretty nice, beautiful ride so far. Let's jump back in the Jeep and head out. The first part of the Burdu Canyon Trail goes through a wide open valley and it's basically sandy trails. Farther into the canyon, the trail narrows and it becomes very rocky. I was about to meet up with the only other cars I'd see on the whole trip. These young men were traveling south to north on the Burdu Canyon Trail and came through the rocky section first. Unfortunately, the young man had ran into a very sharp rock that put about a six inch gash in the sidewall of his tire. He did have a spare with him, but he didn't have the key for taking the locking lug nut off the wheel. I carry a pretty extensive toolbox with me on my trips but I did not have a tool for removing that locking lug nut. I didn't have any luck getting that locking lug nut off and the gentleman decided 
to keep on driving on three tires. They had about 10 miles of desert road to drive just to get to the main road in Joshua Tree. I just stopped to help out a couple guys. There was two guys, one in a beautiful F-350, I think it was, diesel, brand new, and another guy in a nice Jeep Grand Cherokee. And the guy in the Jeep Grand Cherokee had ripped the side of the tire out, and his tire had wheel locks, and he was unable to get that lock off because he did not have the key that comes with the wheel lock. Um, tried to help him out. I didn't have the tools for doing it. And something I never ran across. Uh, they're going to continue on. I recommended that they abandon the, uh, the Cherokee and uh, take the Ford out. Go get the stuff they needed to get that wheel lock off. But I think they're going to try to make it on three tires. Anyways, um, you know, anything can happen out here. And I'm just hoping that everything goes okay for me. I got a long ways to go. And they told me there's a couple of tight spots that that big uh, F... 350 barely made it through F350 double cab. So when I get to those tight spots, I guess that's where that's where I'm going to have the the challenge of getting this this uh, off road trip done. Anyways, getting later and later, and I need to get going. Now we're heading downhill. Starting to see some big rocks in the road here. Train's changing a little bit. A few weeks ago, Burdu Canyon was closed because the rain had torn up the trail. It maybe got a little tougher than it was before. Well, the walls are closing in on this canyon, and I'm looking forward to these tight spots and seeing if my Jeep and trailer will fit through these without any damage. But here's what it looks like. See, the walls are definitely climbing, definitely getting to more look more like a canyon, and the trail is getting a lot rockier. Solo adventures can be a little more nerve-wracking than having a nice group of people along with you. Whatever happens, you gotta handle it yourself. If worse came to worse and I had an emergency, I do carry a Garmin GPS Map 66i, which is a communication device that has a SOS button on it. I can communicate with the outside world and tell them whatever I need for help. Looks like I'm at my first real challenge. Not super tough. Rocky section with this big rock here in the middle. Plenty of room. Looks like if I put a tire right on top of that rock, looks like it would be harder going up than it would be going down. The diesel motor in my Jeep gives me a tremendous amount of confidence because of all the power it has. It can easily tow my Accenture trailer over off-road obstacles. The trailer itself is made by a company that makes trailers for the military. It's called an Accenture XV3. And it's an awesome trailer, made specifically for going off-road, very durable, and very well constructed. It lets us get out to remote places and stay out longer. You do not want to get tangled up with one of these chola cactus. They're all over the hiking trails in Joshua Tree. Beautiful bloom of flowers on this beaver tail cactus. This is our second year having quite a bit of rain in California. So the greens are a little more lush and there's a lot more wildflowers and colors in the desert. With the canyon opening up, you'll start to see a lot more choices of trails that you can take because people drive all over the desert and when one trail gets blocked, they open up a new one. If you go down a trail that's impassable, it's not a really a big deal when you're in a single vehicle because you can back out of there usually. In my case, I'm always towing my trailer, so I try to plan my moves so I'll often get out and scout to find out, figure out which is the best trail to take. I do have a drone, and wherever it's legal to fly, I can always use that to scout up ahead on the trail to see what's up ahead of me. So far, this trip has gone very well. No big problems and no huge obstacles. And the equipment is working perfectly. Well, I made it through Burdu Canyon. Everything's intact, nothing broke. I made it over all the obstacles. It wasn't quite as difficult as what I thought it might be, but I did see those guys coming the other way that had shredded a tire. So definitely, if you're coming to do Burdu Canyon, be prepared. Just like the sign says in the beginning of the trip, you need to be prepared, you need to be ready. So you could get in a little bit of trouble down here. It's pretty remote, but it's a, it's a fantastic trip. It's a beautiful canyon. So anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming along with me on this trip. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and I will see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.